Folks, it's out, it's ready, it's available, it's in Cydia right now. Slide away. Now, I've already done a video preview of Slide Away once, uh, and it was a very popular video, but that was more of the beta test version. This is the definitive version, and it is ready to be released. Let me show you a few of the features that I particularly like about this tweak and why you're going to love it. So first of all, let's go into our settings section and let's see some of the settings behind this tweak. What makes it tick, so to speak? Now there are five main sections in Slide Away settings. There's themes, notifications, the dock, the bar, and animations. The three main things you're going to probably be worried about, well, the two main things is the dock and the bar because that's really the meat and potatoes of this tweak. As you can see here, Slide Away basically puts this shortcut bar on your iPhone's home screen, and there you can access various apps directly from the home screen. Now, these shortcuts being user assignable can come in very handy. You can set anything from the phone to your messages app, and they can be set independently of one another. So the left and right shortcut button, as you'll see here. So let's talk about that real quick. I'm gonna talk about the bar, and as I said, there is the left button and the right button. And there are multiple apps that can be configured here. You have your phone, camera, contacts, mail, Safari, SMS, and music. So all those can be customized to either the left or the right button in Slide Away. So that's one of the main features. The next big feature is the nice slide up dock. And in this dock, you can have your custom dock. You can set up multiple apps in a dock. And then you can customize which apps you want in each position on your dock. So your first icon can be set up to one app. The second icon can be set up to another app third, and so on. So that's one big feature in Slide Away. And then also your notifications is pretty handy as well. You can have notifications for your mail or phone calls, things like that. And these can be customized as far as the labels go, the colors and things like that, and along with your background color as well. Now theming is going to be a big part of Slide Away in the future, and already ones are working on themes for Slide Away. So if you have a special theme for your iPhone, you can get the Slide Away theme to go along with that theme to match the whole package together. And then lastly, you have your animations here, which speed up the slide animation effect. And those can be adjusted as well. So that's really nice. It's a really uh, user configurable, user friendly tweak that I really enjoy and I really like. So let me show you what this dock is like. So if you slide up here, you'll notice my dock. And these are all the user assignable apps that I assign in my dock. So you can access each of these apps directly from the dock like that. So that's pretty handy. Now I know some may be asking, what about your normal dock? Can you still access your app switcher? Well, of course. You can still access your app switcher even if you pull up your slide away dock, you just double click on the home button, there's your app switcher like that. So it doesn't interfere at all whatsoever. So folks, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this tweak, especially if you've been looking to add some customization to your iPhone's lock screen. Maybe you're not into lock info or the whole kit and caboodle, but maybe you just wanna add a few little perks to your iPhone's lock screen. Slide Away is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to check out. So again, this tweak is available right now. It can be downloaded on Cydia for the price of $2.99. I'm interested to hear how you feel about Slide Away, and I'm looking forward to some of these custom themes that are in the pipeline as we speak. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com. Don't you hate it when you're just moseying along in Safari and then you click on a link maybe by accident and then all of a sudden Safari goes away and then some other app comes up, maybe the App Store? That's so annoying. If you want to get rid of this, check out this video here.